What's cracking, people? Angelic Mayhem here. Welcome to another edition of my Anno Online series. And today is a very exciting day for me because for the past week and a half, I have been slowly, very achingly slowly, pushing my way up to 1,500 vassals. And here I am on the verge of finally making this milestone. My village has changed dramatically. And I have packed in as many people as possible, as tightly as possible, uh, more or less. And I have all of my industry down here in the uh, what was the original starting area. And then over here, I have my vassals. And then some, you know, this was the original pioneer residence houses. And so now all I have to do is flip one and or two more pioneer residences. And we should be good to go. So let's upgrade. 1500. Shazam. So the question becomes, well, what happens now? Well, first of all, I get an achievement. Hooray! So I now have all of my uh, gold diamonds, and we have also unlocked a bunch of different stuff. Now, the first thing is that people are now demanding linen garments, and that's part of the hemp industry. Uh, the hemp and the weavers, uh, they work together in order to produce linen garments. Uh, we also have, this right here is a charcoal burner's hut, so this is a brand new industry. This is coal. Then there's these three over here. Now these combine to begin what will be our navy. All right, We're going to have a series of ships that will be able to carry goods from our island to other locations. Sell those goods and then bring back the cash. Also to go to other places, buy their stuff, and bring it here. Uh, is this available? It is not. I have to reach city. New player level, level, hooray, level six, all right. So let's get into the new things, all right. So first up, I got to figure out where I'm going to put all this stuff. I think I'm going to start my, I'm going to start my hemp industry just right here in this little pocket. I think I have enough room for that. So let's see what we get here. Island does not have the correct fertility for this building. What? That's absurd. They've given me something I can't use. What do I do? What do I have to go to another island? Maybe I have to go to another island. So let's start with you. Now this is a dock and this upgrades the harbor. It adds an additional slot to the harbor. Now I don't know what exactly that means. I can upgrade the harbor master now. So let's do that. Ooh, made out of stone. Empty pier. Maybe it goes there. And indeed it does. I rotate? Won't rotate? No, it won't rotate. So it just plops on top of the pier like that. Weird. Dock. Doesn't cost us anything. That's good. How much does this cost? Naval engineer. Also 74. These are expensive propositions. All right, so I'll be back after I collect this cash, and then we will finish this up. All right, and we're back. So we accrued a bunch of money, and then down here, I built uh, one shipyard. All right, and then one naval engineer. Now, basically, the naval engineer provides you with the ability to create the parts, including the people who will appear on your ships. And then you assemble those parts in the shipyard to make a little ship. And then your ship can go around and sail to the various places. Now, in addition to the buildings that were created as a result of 1,500 vassals, we also have a few other things. All right, now, first of all, distribution houses, you can now upgrade them. Okay, It costs a lot of money, so this is not going to be something I'm going to be able to do right now. Because I'm going to save up just a tiny bit of stone, but then also a whole lot of cash. So that'll wait until some other time. I would highly recommend upgrading your distribution houses as quickly as possible. The distribution houses are the weakest link in your infrastructure. Okay, These little carts, one cart per building, goes around and collects all the stuff. Okay, There's a lot of buildings that you just can't get to. 
And especially if you don't have your system laid out in a nice, neat, and clean pattern with all the stuff and all the distribution houses in one place, it can be a train wreck, all right? So upgrading each of these houses will add a second cart, another dude wandering around picking up stuff. So that will maximize the efficiency of the system and make sure that everything is in your warehouse as fast as possible. Now, one of the things that you should be aware of for me is that because I was in on the beta, on the beta testing, I actually received a ship. It was a flagship. Um, I'm not going to launch that right now. I'm going to save that for another video. But uh, that is something that I do have at my disposal. And then the final thing that I want to show you, which has been unlocked as a result of 1500 vassals, is this little icon down here, which is the island overview. Clicking on this, obviously Newport is my island. So when I go here, I can see the total population, right? And because I clicked on Newport, it gives me all the pioneers and the vassals. And I don't know why it keeps going away, but... Now, I also have the option to abandon my island, if you can believe that. Then there's Discover, and Discover will allow me to send a ship out and look for a new island. And as the result of that, I will be able to then expand. And here's where things get really interesting. My construction button keeps blinking because I need to plant down some hemp. Because I can't put hemp anywhere on this island, I mean, I don't know if it's telling me that it can't be put here because I haven't unlocked one of these that can support hemp or not. But apparently, I mean, it is telling me that I can't have hemp on this island. So I may very well have to discover a new island in order to get my hemp up and running. And that's going to be required for me to get into merchants and some of the bigger, better stuff. So that's the situation at the moment, and thank you for watching this video. I hope this video helps you out in your annoying. Uh, if you did like this video, please click the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content like this in the future. I'm Angelic Mayhem, and I will see you next time.